Hello, hello, welcome. I want to do a quick reading on Chloe. I just saw a comment that maybe the dismemberment was her, and I never even thought of that. So let's do a reading on Chloe and see what we can find on Miss Chloe. That card jumped. I've already set sacred space and called in the quarters. So the card that jumped was fleeting happiness. It's also going where angels fear tread. Welcome if you're in the balcony. If you've been here for two times, then you've heard me say this a million times, but I don't read this deck in reverse. It has nothing to do with the way I read it. Just this deck doesn't like to be read in reverse. And I have a little camera over there that shows me what you guys can see so I can make sure you see it. This is outside validation. Six of Wands is like a congratulations. She's she's a dog. She likes things are fleeting, fleeting happiness. That could be a little more literal. She's happy at our home. She liked to relax in the sun. She's like, I got the thief card. An overkill card. Oh, I should have been a little bit more specific what we were asking her. She was definitely there that night. She saw her overkill. This is the thief. Stealing lives, stealing happiness. Usually, I don't remember hearing her barking that the next morning. Does anyone else remember hearing her barking in those? Oh, I guess it was dash cam. Did they do something to her that night? This is just talking about her life. She was happy, fleeting happiness. She had little lovers. Wonder which ones these are. This is fleeting happiness, going where angels fear to tread. This also can be illusion. This is outside validation. She's a dog. She likes to get rewarded for. Was it? Was she a like a police camp reject? I I can't remember. I think I don't know. This is happy home, fat happy man. She likes to sit outside in the sun. This is the thief, stealing lives, stealing happiness, and this is the overkill card. Being on the King of Wands, this is my list. I just want to see what we had for... Oh, he's a Capricorn. Why don't we just do this pretty quick? We're just going to do it nice and easy. I'm going to do yes-nos. But I don't remember hearing her bark. That's the thing. What if... All right, let's ask Chloe if she's still alive, and then we'll go from there. Chloe, are you still alive? On this side of the... Are you on, in this realm with us? Don't bet on it. I thought that I liked that story of her getting rehomed to a nice family in Vermont. Oh no, she's not. Okay. Did they? They couldn't have killed her that night because there was two women got attacked by her after this accident, after John O'Keefe's thing. I think this is what I heard. And they had to go to the hospital. Oh boy. So she, I want to ask her, maybe, I don't know what, how accurate that information is. There now that, how do we know? What, did Benefer tell us? Did they kill her that night? Chloe, did they kill you that night? Nope, this is a no, not at all. So they didn't kill her that night. Let's ask her if her family killed her. They just said jumper. As long as you're ready. Did you, I want to ask her if anyone she knows, did your fam, anyone in the family. That got weird. It's conceivable. I feel like Colin would probably have some sadistic to do it. It's really weird. Let's ask if it was Colin. Nope. Was it Brian Albert? Don't bet on it. Was it Jennifer McCabe? Without question. Well, that's next level. She sleeps with her sister's husband and she kills animals. She's straight up socio a psychopath. Yikes. I just want to make sure the top's still on. So, but how? How did she do this? I don't know. We need Ashley's cards for that. All right, so Louis is no longer in this realm or on this plane. The story about her getting rehomed to a Vermont house is not true. She wasn't killed by her family. She was killed by Jen, McC Jen McCabe got the without question card. I'm going to look at Ashley's cards. This is next level. I know every single day I say I can't believe this, but right now I literally am speechless again. She was sad and emotional. Well, sure, I don't buy it. She went to school. The cards just dropped. I have to grab them. It's hold. Well, the cards that... Hold on. The cards that just dropped on the floor were a weapon in a secluded area. This woman... I want to say the sad thing is for the kids. They were sad and they were at school. Shen McCabe does not feel sad. She doesn't even know what that emotion is. There was a weapon used. And there's a gun right on here. And it was a secluded area. So just in the last few days... Jen McCabe sleeps, or has slept, perhaps, oh, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, I just read energy, with her sister's husband. She got rid of the dog with a weapon in a secluded area. I think I'm speechless again. 
I think we have to do Jen again. I think we're dealing with what's that serial killer? He's, oh boy, it's a parental figure. All right, and her phone was off. This is cyber crime. So, this, that was a great call. Chloe, we didn't get dismembered. We got shot in a secluded area. Shot in a secluded area by a parental figure. The kids were sad and it happened while they were at school. The yes, S-Nose said it wasn't Colin Albert. It wasn't Brian Albert. It was Jen McCabe. Literally, I don't know what's wrong with her. Socio and psychopath. She unfortunately fits the psychopath part. Just the way that she was on the stand. Like she would be pretend crying and then ice queen. Oh man, poor Chloe. R.I.P. I, I want to read her a, I have an animal tarot deck. I want to read her an animal angel card. I might have to just pause you for one second. I want to go read Chloe an angel card. I, I feel really bad. I rearranged this in my animal decks back there. I'm going to go grab that angel deck because I want to read her an animal oracle card. Just a second. We have spirit guides and animal spirit. I feel really, I feel sad. I'm, it's always sad, but what's wrong with her? We use the messages from your spirit guides. I just want to make sure the top's still on. Ah, uh, it's not. 